Since the inception of the music itself, heavy metal has had more negative stereotypes thrown around it than a fucking like prostitute on Skid Row. And at this point in time, I wanted to go into a little bit of why some people have these negative stereotypes about metal and why most of them are usually wrong. Now let's get one thing straight. A lot of times stereotypes do come from some basis in reality or at least something about them that makes people believe them in the first place and usually that is a minor truth or a truth that is taken out of context and pushed to the extreme. Now where that extreme is on the spectrum you can decide for yourself but in this case we're going with heavy metal. A lot of the stereotypes that happened about heavy metal was that it was the music of the devil and you had a lot of religious people basically bashing it in every single way possible from Ozzy biting the heads off bats to people thinking that Metallica was promoting Satanism to every black metal band ever being called the thing of the devil. But musically anytime there is something that pushes the envelope or goes beyond what that cultural zeitgeist was at the time, whether it be the Beatles, whether it be Elvis, whether it be Jimi Hendrix, you are going to have negative stereotypes being said about how you're promoting the devil's music. It has pretty much happened to every single genre. Hip-hop listeners will know this, pop listeners will know this, there are very few genres that I can think of that are not heavily affected by these negative stereotypes. And you know what bitches say, people fear what they can't understand. Now just straight off the bat to debunk the religious thing, I'm not going to say that there aren't a lot of metal bands that detest religion or promote anti, you know, Christian Christian beliefs or like devil beliefs, but it's funny how some of the most popular bands in heavy metal have Christian members or Christian frontmen and still get the same treatment. You can look at a lot of classic heavy metal bands, classic thrash metal bands, and you see a lot of Christian people within those genres. And I don't want to go on like a 15 minute rant about religion itself because in my video about um, being a Christian metalhead, I go into that in depth, but I'm pretty much just going to leave it at the fact that if you are so shaky in your own beliefs and foundations, that hearing anything that goes against your religion basically breaks you, I think you need to find a stronger foundation. And to play devil's advocate for a moment about like non-believers of the metal genre, one stereotype that's passed around like chicken feed that I can understand is people thinking that metal makes you mean, heavy metal makes you evil, heavy metal makes you a bad person or just a rigid person. Because it's not hard to come to your own conclusion in your own head that if something sounds heavy and mean that it's going to lead you to be heavy and mean. And certainly I'm sure that there are some people that let out aggression through heavy metal or use it for, you know, their sick beliefs or violence or violent acts, but largely the vast majority of people that I have spoken to, not only in this community on my channel, but seen elsewhere, pretty much has the same resounding belief that heavy metal helps you with that cathartic feeling, that it helps you let out that aggression, that it helps you get through rough times, and there are just as many people that say that rock and metal music has saved their life as there are people who say that pop music or hip-hop music or electronic music saved their life. Are there going to be outliers in that? Yeah, there's always going to be statistical anomalies and people who blame heavy metal music for making you violent and just like video games or anything else there are a lot of people that in the media think that heavy metal just incites this violence and the depravity in some of the lyricism or the vile remarks that are put in a lot of lyricism either for shock and awe factor or to play tongue-in-cheek into the thematic elements look at a band like you know cannibal corpse for example I don't think is making people go up and shoot schools or kill people. I just honestly don't. Most people are fucking rational and I hate to burst your methodical bubble that you have built up around you. But the people that are going to do those things are going to do it regardless and they're going to find their tools to do it regardless. And whether that is heavy metal or rock music, that was living in them to begin with and they would have just found another outlet to give them the justification and validation in their own head to do it. It's not heavy metal's fault. If you didn't outright say go and do something to someone... Uh, you can't really be blamed for someone going out and doing something to someone. And you have all the negative stereotypes about the vocals, how all metal is screamo, how all, you know, metal music is just incomprehensible jibber-jabber that has no relevancy in the artistic, cultural, like, way, and it has no value because it sounds like a bunch of the toilet bowls going off at the same time, and it's too fast, and it's too loud, and it's too aggressive. Well, good job making a non-point out of the artistic representation of a cultural movement 
movement that has affected millions of tens of millions of people and been one of the most important movements of the last few centuries and one of the most important musical inventions. I've always thought the whole screamo argument is kind of fucking weird because you know, there are plenty of people that listen to, you know, pop music and hip-hop music and mumble rappers that slur their way through a song and you can't barely understand half of the things they're saying, so I don't quite understand why metal music would be any different. You're probably still having to check in with the lyrics when you listen to a Travis Scott song or a, uh, like a Lil Mosey song or a Lil Xan song, so what's stopping you from going and looking at the lyrics of a metal band? And honestly, to the people that say that metal music doesn't have good lyrics... Um, I listen to all types of music. I genuinely consume music from all across the musical like spectrum of genres, and I can honest to God say that heavy metal has some of the most insightful, poetic, beautifully constructed, and fantastically assembled lyricism of any genre, and that doesn't just go for like one subgenre. That goes for death metal, metalcore, deathcore, heavy metal, thrash metal. There have been insightful, politically charged, heavy lyrics, depressive lyrics, lyrics that genuinely touch your soul. And I promise you, if you go out of your confinements and actually look at the lyrics occasionally, you'll understand. Not to mention, the more that you're in the metal genre, the more you can understand the lyrics. I've known over the years so many people that the more heavy metal they listen to, they sort of start just deciphering the vocal techniques and they start to understand it more, almost like you're learning like a second language, which that's an odd phenomenon, but it's something I can understand because there are some bands that I definitely couldn't have understood the lyrics of in the past vocally that I can now make out every single word from just without having to refer to the lyrics and like 99% of the time I'm correct. The negative history of heavy metal and the negative reputation of heavy metal back when it started to find its grounds with hard rock bands like ACDC and Led Zeppelin and heavy metal pioneers like Black Sabbath and Deep Purple and Motorhead. There were a lot of older fans that were growing up on bluegrass music and blues rock and folk music and just classic rock and roll music that were being introduced to distortion and the heavy metal guitar. People like Jimi Hendrix were putting things on the map that were scary. And like I said at the start of the video, people fear things that they don't understand. And anytime there is a new musical style, there's always going to be the people that try to find every way to bash that down because they just don't want to think too hard on it and they don't want to use their critical thinking skills to actually decipher what the, you know, use of something is. So they just want to build up a wall around them so they don't have to think about it too hard and they just bash it with all of these negative stereotypes that usually are either completely unfounded or are a stereotype that is taken to the extreme. Metal has been strawmanned for so long and scapegoated when it comes to people that don't want to understand it. If you look at like hip hop, I'll draw another comparison. There are hundreds of rappers that basically sing about murdering people and, and basically cheating on people, fucking bitches, having your side hoes, talking about how they smoke so much crack and cocaine and do all these drugs and gangbang. By the way, I enjoy a lot of that music. I'm not, I don't think that these stereotypes should be about any type of music. I'm just saying if we're going to say these things about heavy metal, then at least don't be a hypocrite and don't just completely ignore all the other genres that sing about these things. I mean, if you don't want these obscene sexual lyrics and like some some death metal bands and like gore grind bands then why are we letting like half of the top 40s pop charts always be these hyper sexualized songs with girls with uh, thongs going up their ass and their tits hanging out talking about how they want to you know go down on a man going into explicit detail with you know artists like sam smith and artists like megan the stallion and cardi b it just goes down the list it's it's actually asinine and so hypocritical but the media coverage that happened when heavy metal was starting gave it this reputation that was so toxic and so unfounded in so many ways and when people say that this is something that only used to happen and that it's better now no, it very much still happens. It's just reversed in a sense now. Anytime music progresses, it's going to continue to go in that direction. The same people that were raised and were young in the generation of like when ACDC and Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath and Motorhead were blowing up, they are older now and that is the music that they enjoyed and that they like and that they try to pass on to their kids the same way that the older, older generation were listening to blues and folk music. 
Republic. But the only difference now was those same people that were in the generation that had people shitting on heavy metal back when those classic bands were around are now shitting on the newer bands that have these very extreme genres like deathcore and metalcore and these genres that are just really brutal, very heavy, very fast, because once again, it's too loud, it's unintelligible, it's something they can't understand. And do you see how this ball continues to move? Even outside of metal, if you look at like the hyperpop genre, older people don't usually understand much of what like Charlie XCX or 100 Gex or Sophie are doing. The ball can keep tumbling forever. But this stereotype that all metalheads are these gross, racist, homophobic, transphobic, you know, bigoted people that are, you know, these gross incels with battle vests and messy hair that smell like they haven't showered in two weeks. I can honest to God say, most of that just isn't true. Unless it's you, the person watching. Are you stinky? Are you a stinky metalhead? <laughs> but yeah, for real though, I think that'll wrap this video up. What are your thoughts of the heavy metal genre and the stereotypes and the negative reception? Let me know down below. Have you been targeted for a stereotype like this? Have you seen someone else get targeted for a stereotype like this? I could go into a lot more stereotypes, but I don't want this video to be an hour long. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to join the review family today, and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is, my name is Jay Morris, and I'm signing off saying, care, wow.